Bob Davis here with Strength of America. I want to take a look at this promo video coming up. We've got two different clinics right here, in one in Mesa coming up October 8th, another one October 22nd, specific to increasing your vertical jump, help with your rebounding skills, and also we put in how to protect the knees. We've got a lot of problem with knees going on with our coaches, things we've gone through. Us old athletes, we want to make sure our younger athletes are protected and ready to go. So I want you to look at this drill and look for some basic movements on it. What we've done is thrown in some things to show you what, some of what we're going to do at camp. But this exercise, I want you to pay attention to the drill. See if it's something you've already done. You may have. But what's more important to me is how you've done it. If you're paying attention to the body position, where your eyes were, what your reaction was like, where your hips are at. Getting that full triple extension to really create power isn't just during the game. You have to have it there, of course. But if you don't train like it, every rep counts. So if you train part way, we kind of jump. You're not going to get there. And jumping is not after. We are about creating power. So take a look at this drill. I want you to share this video with your friends and, and teammates. Get them to this free clinic. And it's for our coaches and our athletes. It's about getting yourself prepared for it. It's a 90-minute clinic. The link below, there's two of them. Select the one for Mesa coming October 8th or the one in Chandler October 22nd, 2016. Make sure you get this. Share it. And then leave some comments, uh, get to our Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash azspeedtraining. Or email me at strengthofamerica at gmail.com if you just can't get to one of those dates. And we'll see about setting one up at your school or your club. Enjoy the day. Thanks for being a part of the Strength of America family. And let's get powerful. All right, for the vertical jump series, here's what I want you thinking about. And, and again, this is just more to teach about mechanics and what happens with the body. Too many times what we see is the athletes we start with tend to lose control of their body. Their head drops or chest caves in. They don't understand the importance of having that tight, strong body. That doesn't mean tight that you can't react. It means tight controlled, tight core, tight body. Your eyes are in the right spot. Your hips are in the right spot. So what I want you to take a look at this, we have them start up on the toes in a false slam position. So they're up tall on the toes, arms are up tall. On the go, all we're going to do is we're going to have them slam down, like they've got a ball in their hand, slam towards the fall floor. But as he slams down, what I want you to look at is he gets himself in that ready position. So he pops down, immediately eyes are already forward the whole time. He's in a great forward lean, his hips are back. His knees are in a good spot. They're not rolling in. They've got a good space there as they're rolling. He's back flat-footed, but emphasis is on the toes so he can react. Now, once he snaps down hard in that position, I always have just a pause. Then they're going to react into a vertical jump. So they're going to explode up. He's going to go up just as high as he can. Now, at this point, what I'm really looking for is he's really pointing the toes, as you've seen with other things. The chest is up tall. He gets up just as high as possible. Then when he comes back down, he's in that ready position. Now, when he did it facing me on the left-hand side, he landed perfect. But like you saw here on the right-hand side, as he landed, he was all on the balls of the feet, so he had that little lean. So when he did that, what happened? His chest dropped down, and that chest drop is going to slow his reaction. Then he adjusted back to his hips and brought his chest where it needs to be. So... Even though it's not perfect on the right, you get to see the mechanics of what really happens right and wrong. So let's see it right in full motion as we go through this thing now. He's going to explode up. He's going to exit the top position, snap down, pause, and then go. And what I look for here on the feet, and this is what I, important to have him get on some of these lines, is the athletes tend to, if they're going forward too much with that lean, they're going to fall forward on that line. And actually land forward. A lot of times when they do a vertical jump, especially when we do our, our series we did before, the frog jump, and then they land and they go into a vertical jump. If they have arms too far forward, the chest is leaning, they actually move forward. If they're moving forward, they're not going vertical. Vertical, I need a straight line. I need up as tall as I can, and they land in the exact same spot. Create that power, push, body mechanics, eyes are on the target at all time. So this is your vertical jump series. Great for our basketball players and volleyball players going into it. Getting up, but keeping control of their body.